Hello, I'm Reef Sumper from ReefSump.com. Today I wanted to give you an overview of my 22 gallon combined frag tank and clownfish and enemy tank. I set up this tank to support my 75 gallon reef tank. My 75 gallon reef tank is quite mature and I frag coral often. Let me give you a shot of that tank. So here's my 75 gallon tank. You can see I have quite a few large mature coral in there. And I frag from this tank and then move them over here to my frag tank where I will hold the frags in here until I either sell them or trade them with other reefers. The tank has been up and running for close to a year and has overall been a nice thing to have or fragging and very simple and easy to operate. As you can see on the live rock in the middle there, I do have quite a bit of uh, hair algae that I'm working on taking care of. Having a look at things inside the tank. In the middle, I have a large piece of live rock. And really the only fish I have in here is a maroon lightning clownfish. You can kind of see him there hiding out in the bottom with his anemones. I have three anemones in here, two small rosebud anemones up front there, and in the back, a green bubble tip anemone. And I also have various corals um, fragged from my tank. You can see a couple pipe organs on the left there, some kryptonite coral there, uh, frog spawn, Two hammers. Over here I have some random zoas, some pulsing xenia, and some mushrooms. Holding the coral, I have two mad sea or bash sea mad racks. They're black and purple acrylic. Very sturdy, and they fit this tank perfectly. So two frag racks flanking the live rock with a clownfish in the middle. So to get into the equipment, I selected, assembled, and plumbed this system on my own, and I really wanted to keep it low maintenance and simple. To start with the tank, I went with Marine Depot's 22 gallon long Aquamax tank. It's a very nice minimalistic tank. The glass panels are thicker than the regular big box tanks and contains low iron, making the glass super clear. The tank measures 11.9 inches wide, 11.9 inches high, and 35.5 inches long. The tank shipped very securely from Marine Depot and was not drilled when I originally um, purchased it. So the stand I actually got at Petco. Um, it was pretty hard to find a stand that fit this tank exactly. You can see a little bit of the overhang on the sides and in the front, um, but it does the job well, not the highest quality. Uh, but holds a tank well. Really, really good for a secondary tank. For plumbing, I did drill this tank myself. It wasn't too difficult, and I hard plumbed the tank using Schedule 80 black PVC and gray fittings. For the return here, I'm using a three-quarter inch lock line screwed into the bulkhead there. And you can see the hard plumbing in the back. For the drain, I went with the eShops Eclipse small size overflow box. And you can kind of see it in there, but there's two drains in here. Uh, Herbie style setup. One emergency drain and one full siphon. Again, hard plumbed. You can see the gate valve there that I adjust the water level inside the overflow box and it's very silent um, and quiet as it's operating. Both drains go directly into the sump in the bottom. Little digital thermometer there. Nothing special. Looking inside the stand The drain goes directly into the sump, 
and the emergency drain goes into the second chamber. The sump that I'm using here is an eShops RS75 sump. It's a really nice, simple, easy to use sump uh, that has worked for me very well over the years. The first chamber there, can't really see it too much in there, but there's a filter sock in that first chamber. The second chamber holds the skimmer and also the heater. And in the third chamber is the return pump. I also have a small bag of carbon hanging there um, between the chambers. The skimmer I'm using here is an eShops Snow Cone S120 skimmer. Uh, I've had this actually for a number of years and it was on my first tank and it continues to run without fail. A really super great pump. Um, the only thing is, is if you can see the uh, air hose there, it's really hard to adjust the, the air. Um, I almost have to grab it with a pair of pliers to turn that tube right there. It's very hard to turn without uh, tools. There's also a heater behind that skimmer. Um, and I used a cobalt neotherm heater. They're um, very flat and uh, work well for very small spaces. So behind there is a neotherm heater. For the return pump, I'm using a Siche Synchra Silent 1.0. I've always had great luck with Siche Synchra pumps. They're quiet, powerful, and durable. You can see I used uh, braided vinyl tubing to connect the pump to my hard tubing. It really keeps the, the noise down. For an ATO, I'm using the High Door um, ATO. Smart ATO. Let's see if I can get a picture of it here for you. Um, it's back there. You probably can't see it too well. Um, but this uses a heater sensor, which I have down here. Can't see it too well, but it uh, measures the heat of the water. And when it falls below a certain prong, it'll kick on the pump to fill up the uh, water level in the sump. So to do that, I'm using a Tom's aqua lifter pump and a small water jug here uh, that lasts about a, a week before I have to fill that up. So it's a nice little setup I have there. For flow, nothing fancy. I have a small Jabo power head there, and it seems to be enough with the return to um, provide enough flow for any of the coral that I'm putting into this tank. For lighting, I'm using this Reef Breeders Photon 24V2 light. This is a really nice programmable light. Take a look at the lights under here. It's uh, very strong, so I keep I keep it running pretty low, so I don't fry the corals. It also has a wireless remote controller to control the light, and I have it attached here to the side of the tank. But I really like this light. Um, it really it looks really nice with that gold strip in the front, and it's very thin. Um, the part that I don't like are these. Um, ugly mounting legs. Um, not the greatest legs um, are way to mount a, an LED light, I thought. Um, at some point, I will probably hang this, and it does come with a hanging kit um, that I have, and I just need to, to hang it at some point. But it does very well. So that's an overview of my 22-gallon long Aquamax frag tank um, with a clownfish and anemones. Um, please see below to links to my site, reefsump.com, where you can find out more about this tank, the equipment on this tank, and other topics related to reef tanks. Thank you.